Hi there, I'd just like to give you a run through of my new DJ setup. Um, I'm running Tractor Scratch Pro 2 alongside two CDJ 2000s and a DJM 900 Nexus mixer. I'm also using uh, time coded CDs with the um, Tractor. But I'm not using an external sound card, I've got it plugged straight in to the USB port of the top of the Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus which just runs straight into the laptop which therefore controls the time code signal. Um, I'm just going to show you how I've got the uh, DJM 900 um, assigned to the effects in Tractor. So I've got the effects on deck A and the effects on deck B and I'll just uh, give you a run through to what buttons I've used on the Nexus to trigger what effect and what rotary knobs I've used etc. So I'll give you a quick run through that now. So what I've used to trigger the effects on deck A is a fader start 1, 2 and a Q button. Because I only use two decks in Tractor, I've got a deck to, uh, sorry, channels 2 and 3 totally free. So therefore I've assigned the rotaries um, to Tractor's effects. So what I've got is um, fader start button 1, activates deck 1, so then I'll just give it a tap. And I've assigned the colour effects rotary knob as the amount, that's on channel 2. So look, I just give that a spin, that spins about. Same on fader start number 2, deck number, uh, sorry, effect number 2, effects unit 1. I've used the low gain on channel 2 as the rotary. And then for number 3, effect uh, number 3, I've used the Q button for that one. And I've used, that's for the trigger on and off. And for the amount, I've used the mid range on channel 2. And then for effects unit number 2, what I've done is I've split up the fader start buttons in half so I'm using th number three to as the trigger button in effects unit two for effect one I'm using fader start button four to trigger the other effect number two and I'm using the Q button on channel three to do the other one so I'll just press them all And I've assigned the rotary knobs as well, the same way as I have with the other side. So obviously, effect unit one, sorry, effects uh, unit two, effect one, rotary, that one. That's the one of the color effects knobs. The low gain is for effects unit two, effect number two, and number, sorry, um, the mid mid range gain for number. 3 on effects unit 2 on deck B. Right, also I'll, while, while I'm on I might as well give you a quick uh, run through of just a couple of the effects that I'm liking on the Nexus at the moment. I'm, um, I'm loving the new uh, slip roll effect. Um, I'm also getting into the melodic which is very nice and the spiral. Um, quite difficult to use but when you kind of master them, they're very good, and I'll give you a quick run through. Um, also, the new color effects are fantastic. You've got space, noise, dub echo, crush, uh, the gate compressor, and filter. Um, noise is individual to each channel, so for instance, that is always there. As soon as you turn a rotary knob on whatever, whatever channel, that will be there. So. Put it back to the middle and it's gone. Um, gate compressor is one of my personal favourites. It's a bit like a remixer mix. Uh, basically just picks out the kicks and... I don't know, it just it, it changes the track altogether. I really like it. Right, now I'll just show you a couple of these effects in Tractor uh, working. So, for instance, I'll just... Uh, I'll play my track on my time code CDs. This one. Turn the fader up.
turning the rotary knob there and trigger. It's a little bit difficult to do it with one hand because I've got one hand in the camera but I, hopefully you get the idea. I'll just give you a quick run through of a little thing I found with the colour effects um, if you're into your scratching like I am. All it is is it's a little trick that I found if you just turn the rotary knob of the effect to 8 o'clock don't activate um, the effect. It works best with space and dub echo. It also works with noise, but I like uh, space and dub echo the best. And all it does is finish off a track, so it uh, finishes off a scratch on a track, so take that away. Hopefully, you can hear. I'll only use one hand because uh, I'm using the camera. And all it is, if you just watch. Tails off the end of the scratch. So I'll just show you again. Hear how it bleeds through. So I'll just turn it off. Wait for, uh, wait for it to bleed out. Can you hear how it bleeds out? So I. Don't activate the effect. Try it with the dub echo as well now. It's obviously inactivated. You've got your rotary knob set to about 8 o'clock. Okay, try again. Can you hear how it bleeds off into the track? Okay, and uh, that is my DJ setup. Uh, I'm very happy with it, and hopefully, it keeps running as it should. Thank you.